Hi guys, thank you for watching the video world videos. We'll see about SAP Business One look and feel. SAP Business One look and feel. This is the main very first screen when you open the application. There's a login screen where you have to put your credentials. There's a company name, there is a username, you have to put your password and say OK. When you log in to the, the SAP Business One, this is what you get. There is a main menu and you can see the username, you can see the company name. These are the modules that you see, administration, financial, opportunities, sales, purchasing, business partner, banking, inventory, resources, production, MRP, services, human resource and reports. Let's continue with the uh, look and feel. There is a search bar. This search bar can be used to search documents and menus. As a business one lets you search menus, master data, document using the search bar below, the toolbar. The lookup function provides you with a quick access to window level menus, master data and marketing documents. Like data and document search, you can search the following data and documents using lookup functions. For example, you can see for a see within the item master data, you can search for a business partner, you can search for a document, and menu search lets you to locate all the windows listed within the SAP Business One main menu by searching the windows name. Second is the drag and relate option. So the second tab on the main menu is drag and relate. When you press the drag and relate, this is what you get. Drag and relate is an interactive tool based on predefined system queries. Uh, one can use this uh, to create reports and uh, have information about the business processes. It is very user friendly interface as it helps you to find important information quickly by just dragging something and dropping over another thing. And uh, the drag and relate queries allow you to search the, for data both in reports and master data such as your uh, GL accounts or business partners etc. So this is my drag and relate uh, within the main menu. What I have done is this thing that I have opened the sales folder. I have opened the business partner folder. Now when you double click the business partner folder you get all the business partner listed to you. You get all the business partner that are there in your company. When you place the cursor on the PP code field for the required business partner and press left mouse button until a black rectangle appears and drag it and release the mouse on the sales order or other document for your information and it opens all the related document lists. So when I press on C2000, that is my Technosys 123, I press the left click uh, button of my mouse, I drag it and I drop it over the sales order. Then it gives me all the sales orders that are with respect to my C2000 business partner. This is how the drag and relate option works. It gives you quick information or gives you quick records and quick reports. The third is the main menu. The third tab on the main menu is my menu. My menu is nothing but your favorites. Say if there is a salesperson who only deals in sales opportunity, delivering the goods, sales quotation and other thing that person can create his favorite uh, menus and uh, can quickly access these uh, forms for adding to my menu what you have to do is to open the uh, the form go to the tools go to my menu add to my menu and this ar invoice will appear in your menu 
You can use this My Menu tab in Main Menu to customize a personal menu to include windows, menu options and queries you most frequently used. You have to keep the form open and can add it as favorites by going to Tools and My Menu and add it. This is very useful for the users using frequently or rarely both ways of any documents as it is easier to access them. Let's continue with the uh, SAP Business One look and feel. Let's see about the toolbar. This toolbar consists of many options like preview, print, email, SMS, fax and a uh, lots more other options. On the toolbar you can just right click and you can select or deselect whatever options you want. So a toolbar comes in handy when you have to preview any document or you have to print it. So SAP Business One menu bar displays at the top of the screen. The menu bar contains the Windows standard menu like file edit, Windows help as well as SAP Business One generic functions. The toolbar displays under the menu bar and the toolbar is a collection of icon buttons that grant you easy access to the commonly used functions. These functions represented by the buttons are also available in the main menu bar. Active function appears in color and inactive function uh, appears in gray out. To hide or show a toolbar, right click the toolbar area and check and uncheck the appropriate toolbar. Now let's have a look over a few of the options uh, available within the toolbar. There is a print preview that enables you to view a document before it is sent to the printer. Print that sends the document to be printed. SMS window, it helps you to enter the phone number and text out of your uh, SMS message. You can even export a document to MS Excel, that is Microsoft Excel, to MS Word or you can generate a PDF. Another application can be launched you can lock the screen or you can find within a document that is there or uh, open on the screen. Let's see about the SAP Business Fundamentals. So these are uh, some of the modules of SAP Business One. This is a master data and these all modules are cross-functional. A master data contains all the master information regarding a module say for example uh, regarding my sales opportunities what are the stages of my sales opportunities say for internet in transaction what transaction have been done what are the price lists and administration why this is cross function that means that all these modules are interwoven and they are, are seamlessly integrated with each other Let's see about document flow within an ERP. The customer sends a PO which becomes an SO for the company. The PO can be sent by EDI that is electronic document, a mail, a fax or even a customer can place an order over a call. So let's say if uh, a customer wants 500 boxes of 1 liter pet bottle and each box contains 10 bottles so in total the customer wants 5000 bottles every information over purchase order gets or rather converts to be an input for the sales order the date on which the purchase order has been sent becomes a document date for sales order the quantities becomes the quantity for sales order and the price quoted becomes a price quoted or rather price entered within the sales order. All these are subject to the companies and the business terms. So the PO contains the information like quantity, address, quoted price, requirement date, which becomes input for the SO. As we have assumed that the customer wants 500 boxes of 10 bottle each, let's assume that 300 bottles are available within the inventory or are in stock 
that means 200 bottles are still needed to be managed to fulfill this sales order so the company will check within the inventory if the order is fulfilled they will directly go to the delivery document where they will invoice if not then they will generate a production order where the production will be done there will be a QC and then a delivery and then finally an invoice so to begin the sales process within an ERP system one can create sales quotation for the customer sales quotation can contains price your company offers for each of the products that customer might be interested in and creating a sales order when the customer decides to purchase the product from your company you need to create a sales order the sales order should contain the quantity and the price that customer has agreed to so you end entering the details of a delivery a notice or uh, rather after the sales order has been successfully processed your company should create a delivery notice in b1 to indicate that the product has been shipped and delivered to the customer this document flow we will look in the coming sessions within the SAP Business One. Stay tuned for the coming sessions as we will be looking over sales AR menu items within the SAP Business One. We'll start with blanket agreement, quotation and sales order. Thank you.